And in business, the National Economic Council on Thursday in Abuja announced the resolve of the federal government to borrow 2 trillion naira from the current 10 trillion naira pension funds to finance the development of infrastructure. It also pronounced a national emergency on power sector, noting that the federal government had pumped 1.7 trillion naira into the sector in the last three years with little or nothing to show for it. Briefing newsmen at the end of the NEC meeting in Abuja, presided over by the Vice President Yemil Shibaju, Kaduna State Governor, Governor Nasir El Rufai, said the decision to pull 2 trillion naira out of the pension funds was reached by a NEC committee that he is chairing. According to him, various countries of the world, such as Chile and South Africa, funded their infrastructure growth by borrowing money from workers' pension funds. He also said with the pension funds owed mainly by youths in their 30s, who still have several years ahead of retirement, utilizing the funds for the infrastructure would not generate any problem. Right, and now in the studio with me, I have Johnson Chuku. He is the founder of Carry Asset Management. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Thank you for having me. Yes, certainly. Regarding the conversation around the government's attempt to borrow two trillion naira from the pension fund, what was your initial reaction when you saw that? My initial reaction is that I think uh, it was misunderstood by the general public. Help us uh, in the first place, the pension fund act is governed by certain rules one of which is the uh, pension commission has to come up with an, uh, what we call investment guidelines, which all pension fund administrators must ad adhere to. Mm -hmm. Those guidelines don't, do not allow the pension funds to be lent out to state or federal government. There must be a structure on, through which the federal government can borrow from the pension fund. As it stands today, of the 10.2 trillion naira in pension assets, mm -hmm. more than 71 percent of it is with the federal government instruments, have invested in federal government instruments. So if the federal government wants to borrow two trillion naira from the pension funds, it has to be through an instrument. It has to be through a structure that meets the current investment guidelines of PENCOM. And without that, they cannot read the pension fund assets. So what people are misconstruing is that the government will just go and read the pension fund assets, which I said, the first impression I have is that the general public did not understand what it takes to access the pension fund uh, held by the mm -hmm. pension fund administrators. It is not just a matter of, okay, wake up and say, look, we're going to borrow from you. They are not a lending institution. The pension fund administrators are not lending institutions. Certainly. They are investment vehicles for investment and management of the pension fund assets. And they are defined criteria under which you can assess the pension funds. One of which could be that the federal government has to come up with what they call an infrastructure bond. Mm -hmm. or an infrastructure fund. But even to set up an infrastructure fund, the federal government cannot set up an infrastructure fund. They have to go through an investment house like Cowley to help them set up an infrastructure fund or infrastructure bond, which will qualify for investment as a, an investment instrument. We haven't seen that at this moment. We haven't seen that. I have not seen that. So as far as I'm concerned, it's basically uh, at the rim of thoughts. The government thinks they can have access to the pension funds, but to have access to the pension funds, they must come up with the instruments that meet the investment criteria of the pension funds. Mm -hmm. Without that, they can't get any money from the pension funds. Now, do you see this in any way threatening the retirement um, benefits of Nigerians who you know, have been contributing to this pension fund? Okay, where that will be threatening is it will come in this format. If um, instruments come into the market that are not properly appraised, Mm. do not meet some of the investment guidelines, or if the investment gu guideline is loosened, it's made uh, easily, uh, easy for government to access those funds. That's where the problem would be. If the investment guidelines are to be maintained as they are today, I believe any investment in those instruments, of those instruments, will not likely default. Of course, you can't rule out default in any investment, but the, the chance of default is what we measure. Um, as it stands today, the federal government has used instruments of treasury bills, Mm -hmm. um, to borrow from the okay. pension fund administrators. They've used instrument of federal government bonds, Naira bonds, to borrow from the pension fund administrators. Like I said, about 71%, which means that more than 7 trillion of the 10 trillion is with the federal government, invested already invested in federal government instruments. But what the federal government is saying is that they now want to also come up with an instrument in form of infrastructure fund or infrastructure okay. bond. So what they want to do is look for a way 
to attract funding from the pension for administrators for the purpose of infrastructure. Today, I give an example, Skook bonds. Yes, okay. <laughs> Skook bonds are federal government debt instruments. The pension fund administrators have invested in it. Those, the last 200 billion that we are raised were invested in load infrastructure. So in effect, the federal government has already assessed this fund for infrastructure development. Mm. So would they come up with what something similar to Cook bond. Cook bond? Once they come up with that, it will qualify as instrument for investment. Mm. But it will not be that they will just go to the pension fund and say, give us money or lend us money. It won't happen. Just like that with no particular structure to it. Absolutely, mm. it won't happen. All right, and then moving forward as well, we saw that the president of the N. LC. He mentioned that the Pension Reform Act 2014 provides for investment and not borrowing. What's your take on this regarding this particular? Yeah, that's investment. basically what I'm saying that there's no provision mm -hmm. under the investment guidelines of the Pension Fund Administrators or PENCOM, Pension Commission, that allows for the Pension Fund Administrator to lend a form of loan to federal government or anybody, big it corporate or individual, it doesn't exist in the uh, guidelines today. And for them, they feel like um, major stakeholders were also not, you know, brought brought together to have a conversation regarding this particular um, move by the government. You know, basically what 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 I believe happened was that the case was a case of presentation. The okay. way it was presented by uh, Governor Kaduna saying Nasi RFI, uh, saying that the government wants to borrow from the mm -hmm. patient, but it's what created a wrong impression. Okay. But I do not think there's any window that the government can borrow without instruments from the pension fund assets. Thank you so much for your time. Because of time, this is all we can have. Well, thanks so much for joining us in the studio. My pleasure. Thank you, sir.